Welcome back to Junkie Jam Live, everyone. <laughs> now, before I forget to mention this, this beautiful sweater is a sweater as the gift I got from Constellation. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I am your host, Christopher Albert, and you all are not the host, Christopher Albert. <laughs> Now, since our guest performers today are the indie music rock band named Constellation, I thought it rather appropriate to produce a segment that coincided with the astrological constellation, otherwise known as the Zodiac. So last night, I stayed up all night watching TV before I realized, God damn it, I should have written something already. <laughs> Which I finally did. So for those of you interested in meaningful, visionary guidance about how your life is interpreted by the sun, moon, planets, and stars, this next segment is definitely not for you. <laughs> but for those of you interested in pointless, clairvoyant nonsense that's just going to waste everyone's time, stay right where you are. Because for this segment, I bring to you a very special Junkie Jam Live Horoscope Music Edition. Yay. Yay! Beginning with Capricorn, unlike fellow Capricorn R. Kelly, we hope that the rest of you Capricorns are urinating responsibly. Yeah, because underage drinking does not just apply to alcohol. Aquarius. Shakira is an Aquarius which makes total sense, because I can never understand what Aquariuses are ever saying. <laughs> or singing. <laughs> Pisces. A Pisces, like Rihanna, has sex appeal and style. But unless you are her, no one really needs to see your nipples out in public. So go ahead, Pisces. Go change it to an actual shirt. We'll wait. Aries, Lady Gaga is a good example of how Aries are never afraid to be daring. So dare to do something radical today, Aries. Try saying something nice about someone for a change. <laughs> Taurus, the day your fellow Taurus, Sam Smith, declared that he didn't like Michael Jackson was the very same day that affirmed my long-held belief that Tauruses are full of shit. <laughs> Gemini. Our Gemini friend, Kanye West, recently visited another Gemini friend of his in the Oval Office, which I think is a great idea for all Geminis to adopt. Just mingle and live exclusively amongst other deranged Geminis. <laughs> because guess what, Geminis? The rest of us will not miss you. <laughs> Cancer. You know who else is a Cancer? Solange Knowles. And like her, your only wish is to be noticed. So go ahead, start a fight in an elevator, and do it quickly. Because the sooner it's recorded and it goes viral, the sooner we could all go back to not caring about who you are. Leo. Leos are known for being tenacious and persistent which means they will stop at nothing to prove to the rest of us just how special they are. Listen, we get it, Leo. You're talented, and you want the world to know it. But that doesn't mean you need to be so desperate about it. Madonna. Virgo. Michael Jackson, Beyonce, Pink are all incredibly successful musicians happen to be Virgos. But don't let that make you other Virgos feel bad. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being an incredibly successful bus driver. <laughs> Libra. Snoop Dogg is a Libra. And that's about all you Libras have going for you. <laughs> Scorpio. Fellow Scorpio Willow Smith considers herself a pop singer which is a good lesson for the rest of you Scorpios. Start 
following your own dreams and stop letting your parents bully you into a career you're really not good at. <laughs> Sagittarius, Jay-Z, Britney Spears, and Miley Cyrus are all Sagittariuses who are loaded. So step up your hustle, Sagittarius, because unlike what you believe, being different is not a real job. <laughs> Well, that's it, guys. Tune in next time, because, yeah, thank you. Tune in next time, because there's a good chance I won't be doing that segment ever again. <laughs> this is Junkie Jam Live, everyone. Yay! We'll be right back.